Hi, new students. My name is Mrs. Poloni and I'm the online fifth and sixth grade teacher. It's so nice to be able to work with you this year. I'm so excited. Uh, I expect really, really great things. Those of you that are feeling a little nervous, take a deep breath. We're in this together. I know we can do it. I am here to help you. I am here to guide you. So please, if you're feeling overwhelmed, please um, ask and reach out. I am more than willing to help you get through the school year and have a good time doing it. So thank you so much for taking a look at this video. If you are watching this, you are already probably logged into your device. If you are watching it from a different device, for almost everything, you're using your email, which is your last name and your first three letters of your first name, at caddy, C-A-T-T-Y-S-D dot O-R-G. You're using your five digit student number as your password. Again, that will be used for a lot of the things that we do this school year. So it's very important to write that down, write it down a couple times if it helps you remember. Um, but that's something that you do want to make sure that you're thinking about and that you are um, always having that information available. The purpose of this video is to help you understand how my Google Classroom is set up. Also go over some important information that will help you be successful for the school year. Again, guys, I know it's a lot. I am here to help you. I am here to guide you. Uh, please don't feel like you need to get everything that first day. We will work and go over it and make sure that we have it um, so that you're feeling really good as you go through the school year, okay? so. If you are not logged into my class yet on Google Classroom, there's two ways that I let you go ahead and log into it. I did send an email through your caddysd.org email inviting you into the class. And I also sent you a code in your welcome letter. Um, if you don't have either of those, my code is on my website on the Catasauqua School District. Um, uh, school district website. You can go to uh, Catasauqua Middle School teacher directory and look for Jamie Poloni. You will see that the fifth grade code is in there and the sixth grade code is in there. Okay, if you are having difficulty logging into our Google Classroom, please feel free to reach out. Um, and if you are in it, great job, right? Again, if you are having trouble, I'm here to help you. So just um, send an email, call the office, ask to talk with me. 610-264-4341 uh, and I could help you get logged in. So for those of you that are already in, we are going to go over my Google Classroom and if you're not in, you can take a look. I have it up here for you to see. Google Classroom is going to be our main base. So. When you get into this and you log into my class, we are called Poloni's fifth grade pod. If you are in sixth grade, it is called something different. And once you log into it, your Google Classroom is going to be separated into three different areas. You're going to have your stream, your classwork, and your people. Okay, stream and classwork is where it's most important. If you go to your stream, I do have to scroll down here to show you, but each day it will be available um, on your stream here. And if I click on my announcement here, you'll see that I have a schedule for every day that will go out at 7.45 a.m. On this, you will see what we're doing for our a.m. meet, what we're doing for independent time, and what we're doing for our p.m. meet. You will not have access to this right now, so if you are trying it, you can go ahead and pay attention to the video as opposed to going onto your iPad and trying this out. Now, if you take a look and you say, hmm, independent work, I'm not sure what this means or where to find it. That's where you're going to go into the classwork portion. So this is just an overview. So you'll click the back button on your iPad to show again the three sections. You're going to then click your classwork to show the main part of my Google Classroom. This is where my assignments are. So, you will see it's broken into categories, attendance, English language arts, math, science, social studies, 
And then I'm going to have three past work sections. Um, math past work, an English language arts past work, and a science social studies past work. I will never delete work. If you miss something and a parent or you goes on power school and sees you missed an assignment, it will be down in the past work section. So if you are missing something, reach out to me, say, hey, I'm missing this, I'd like to make it up. And we can see, well, why did you miss it in the first place? And if it's possible for you to make it up to earn more credit. So past work is down here. We will get into that in just a second. After every Google Meet at the end of the day, so we will have two Google Meets a day. After the second one, you will be asked to fill out this attendance. Attendance is very important. Not only do you have to be in class with your camera on, you also have to fill out this form after the second class of the day. So if you click on this, it's going to tell you, please complete after the PM meet. This will be sent out every day um, after your second class, and you will go ahead and you will fill out the attendance form. The attendance form asks you for your name, what we talked about during the first class, and what we talked about during the second class. So if you go ahead and you go into this, I am going to show you, I'm going to switch devices here. Okay, and if you take a look here, you will see that if you click on it, it's going to bring you to a form. You are going to go ahead and write your name. One thing we discussed during our AM class, and then one thing we discussed during our PM class. When you're finished, you'll click submit, and in your email, you'll get a receipt saying that you submitted this. This is very important for attendance purposes. Okay, it is part of your attendance criteria. Uh, and I will remind you of this during your first week, your first couple weeks. So again, I am here to help you. Okay. When you're done with that, you would click again, the back arrow here to click out of it. Then you'll see it's broken into English language arts and math. These assignments will be posted daily, which means every school day. Okay, and they will be posted by date. If you click into it, you'll see that it asks you to listen to the story, which is attached right here. This is where you will click. Let me go back and show you the stream again. If you remember the stream, part of your independent was to listen to a story. It is part of your ELA which is why when you go back and you go to classwork, it's under English language arts. So once you click into the ELA, you will find the assignment. So the stream gives you the, the outlier, the, the um, things that you're doing, and then your classwork is what is the assignment, where it is posted, okay? Again, if you go to math, same thing, let's go back to the stream. What am I supposed to be doing during independent time? Oh, I'm supposed to be doing a multiplying fractions form. Where can I find that? Again, if you click back and you go to classwork, you will see that there is an assignment in math. If you click on the day, you will see that you are to complete this assignment by clicking on the multiplying fractions part. Okay, once you click on it, it will give you the assignment. We will go over how to fill out forms, how to fill out docs, all during that first week of school. Again, you can then click back. I think I'm done, but I'm not sure. What can you do? You can go back to your stream and you could say, what else am I supposed to be doing during independent? I multiplied my fractions. I listened to my story. Oh, I still have to review my science slides. 
that's when you'll click again, the back arrow. You will go to classwork and you will say, where are my science slides? Not under attendance, not under language, uh, English language arts, not under math. Oh yeah, they're probably under science and social studies. Science and social studies, I will only post weekly. So you will have a week to complete this assignment. In addition, we will talk about it during PM meets at the end of our classes. So we will do math in the morning, English language arts in the afternoon, and then after English language arts, when we, um, when we complete it, we will go ahead and we will move into science and social studies slides. Again, these are posted each day. This is posted weekly. Okay, so we will have one topic we do a week. If you do go into that, you'll see that there is an assignment that you will click on, okay? I do want to go ahead and I want you to think about down here, this up button, okay? When you are done with something, you can click mark as done. I want you and your guardian at home to know that this does not necessarily mean you completed it. I want you to think if you make a checklist and you say, okay, I should clean my room, I should do the dishes, I should take the garbage out. You could absolutely cross off clean your room and not do it. So this, although you're marking it as done, does not always mean you're done. Guardians, please understand that. If you think that your child is saying, oh, I marked it as done, it's complete, you will know it's done if you click in the attachment and you see that it was worked on, it was written in, um, answers were given. That's the way that you'll know things are complete, okay? You could also add an attachment here. Sometimes I will ask you to add an attachment of work done in your math book, in your language arts book, in your notebook, and if you were to do that, when you add the attachment, you'll see that you have an option to use your camera and you will take a picture of the work that you completed. This is important for you to know if you ever need it because I will ask for you to show me your completed work. Again, when you're done with that, if you click up here, it will drop that box down. You can click right here drop that down and again the arrow is going to then ask you to go back to that classwork page. This is where you will find your assignments. So just a review, stream is going to tell you what you're doing during the day. Okay, when you go back, your assignments are going to be under classwork. Just a reminder, the grades, your final grades will be put on PowerSchool. Um, I, you will be provided feedback within Google Classroom, especially with your writing. Um, and you will see grades after you complete something in Google Classroom, but your final grades will be put on PowerSchool. Okay, that is my Google Classroom. Again, I know it's a lot of information. You have this video, so you can watch it more than one time. You can go back to it. You will also be using a program called Clever. If you've used it before, it's a program that you will find on your iPad. It looks like a big C right here. And when you click into it again, you're going to use your login, your caddysd.org login, and you're going to use that five number passcode. When you log into it, it's going to give you all of the apps, or I should say all of the programs that we are going to be using during the school year. So when you log in, you will see some important logins here. First of all, you will see this big E. This is going to be exact path. This is where you're going to be doing many of your assignments. Um, and you'll be working on it a half hour each day during your um, learning path time. So this is an important one. When you do log into that, 
you'll see that you'll have assignments posted or you'll have your learning path. This is something you can explore as we're getting started with the first week. And you can be taking a look and seeing important um, programs that we are going to be using. I will touch more on that during the school year and especially during that first week. Okay, again, I know this was a lot of information. I appreciate you watching this video. The last thing I want to go over, I am sending home or I sent home when you came to pick up your iPad, I sent home a lot of documents. Okay, I sent home um, a lot of books. We will not use all of them at once. So again, deep breaths, it's okay. Okay, if you look at your ELA one, we will only be looking at volume one. And if you look at your math book, we will only be look, working on volume one. Please put volume two in a very, very special place so that you can have them when it's time for us to get there. I also sent home notebooks that we will be using per um, subject. So the first day I will have you label these notebooks, but please, please, please keep them blank for now. I will be going over notes and I will be going over assignments that I'll be looking for you to put in those notebooks. Okay, so you should have a red one, you should have a blue one, and you should have a green one. Again, we will label them together and um, I will ask that you keep them blank until I ask you to use them. Okay. If you have any questions, my email is poloni, P-O-L-O-N-Y-J, at caddysd.org. And the phone number, again, at the school is 610-264-4341. If you didn't even get my welcome email yet, please reach out. I will resend it. I am looking forward to a fabulous school year. Um, I'm looking forward to a great time. I know that we're virtual, but we can still have a lot of fun. We can still really get to know each other. Um, and I think it's gonna be wonderful. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thank you for taking a look at this fifth grade orientation and new student orientation video. And I will talk with you soon. Feel free to view this video as many times as you want so that you can get used to working with our Google Classroom. All right, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. And I will see you on Monday, August 30th. Um, either at eight o'clock if you're in fifth grade or nine o'clock if you're in sixth grade. Actually, that reminds me, one more thing I do wanna take a look at. How do you log into my Google Meets? Let me show you. I apologize, I should have talked about this when we first went into our Google Classroom. When you go into my Google Classroom, Might be easier to take a look here. I did turn off my projector. Just give me a couple seconds to fire back up. All right, I think it's coming on. It might actually be easier to show you this way here while it's getting fired up. If you take a look, there is a little camera up here. Come 7.55 if you are in uh, fifth grade or 8.55 if you are in sixth grade. If you click on that camera, you will be logged into my Google Meet. Please, please, please take a look. Make sure that camera is there for you so that you can go ahead and you can make sure that you have that access. If I am not in it yet, when you click on it, okay, it will tell you, you can go ahead and you can join it, but you're the only one here yet, so you, you will not see other people until I'm logged into it. All right, so please go ahead and make sure that you're checking, checking to see if that's an, um, that you have that access to that camera. If you don't, another reason to email me and I can send you the code. I will also send you a code that first day um, and you can keep it in your email in case it never, in case your camera is not there one day. All right, again, a lot of information. Thank you so much for staying with me and I look forward to Monday, August 30th. Have a great one, guys.